Now on Channel 4, we take a look at the life of a young man faced with extraordinary challenges. This week on Extraordinary Lives, our camera spent 12 months following Kurt Bridge, a 28-year-old from Merseyside, as he reflects on his life with a pointed head. I mean, what sort of behaviour would he demonstrate when he had his pointy head? Because I can remember him doing something with the cushions or something. Well, he'd bury his head in the in the uh, settee and he'd cry. Mom, Dad, my pointy head! <laughs> I've got a pointy head, Mom, I hate my pointy head! <laughs> Yeah, this is with my school. I didn't really like it and I didn't spend much time here because uh, I got bullied quite a bit really. But I'd rather go to Southport on the bus or to St Helens with my friends. And of course I was a bit different at school. A little bit different to a lot of the other kids. This is where I used to live with Danny. Rodney Street, Liverpool. That was our flat behind. Danny used to bring a lot of girls back. I didn't really get many girls. <laughs> I used to eat cookies and watch. It was quite handy having a big church at the end of our street. I turned to religion for a couple of years, you know. That's where I worshipped every Sunday morning. <laughs> Prayed. Prayed to get rid of me pointed head. He's, he's a teenager or he's coming yes. into his early 20s oh, yes. and he started to go nightclubbing. What was the nightclub that he went to? Legends in Warrington. So, were you worried about him? Of course I was worried about him. I mean, because that's really, I mean, the first time that he, you know, other people would have seen him for the first time the way he looked. I mean, it was, <laughs> the people in the village were used to what he looked like. <laughs> However, for him to go to a nightclub in, was it Warrington? It, was it? I bet it took a lot of courage. I bet it took a lot of courage. And... Hey, Oshfella, come on in me new XR2 to Legends, wicked man. <laughs> <laughs> come on, here we go. Have you got everything we need? You know, we do breeze and all that. Nice one. What are you looking at? Oh man, don't ruin me night. What are you looking at? You're looking at me head, aren't you? <laughs> Is it me hair? What are you looking at, fella? Oh no, I'm not going out if people are going to be looking at me head. <laughs> hey, Kurt. I'm going to go get myself a pint. What are you doing? A pint, mate. I'm going to go and get myself a girl. Ah, oh, you sad twat. <laughs> Any chance of a, a, a kiss? Uh, very nice, but you've got a bit of a pointy head. <laughs> what about you, love? <laughs> Sometimes I just like to get away from everyone. <laughs> I just like to go on the ferry and reflect upon my life. It's just nice to get away from people who recognise you. Isn't that Kurt Bridge over there? I'd recognise him anyway because of his pointy head. <laughs> I hate coming back home. Ah, <laughs> uh, match day, mate. Just like two hours before kickoff. It's the best club in the world. I love me Everton. I've always loved me Everton. Ever since Grandad bought me that shirt. Everyone thinks I'm a Liverpool fan, but this is the place. I miss it so much. Uh, buzzing to be back. Anyway, I'm off for a pint. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Hi, Sally. Hi, Kurt. Are you having your usual pineapple in uh, Malibu? I am, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Ah. Aren't you getting a few reparations soon? Am I right in thinking that um, Kurt resorted to reconstructive surgery at one point? We didn't really know about it until he uh, went into a hospital, a private hospital near here. And uh, well, he was in there for, I think, two days. Uh, he came out looking exactly the same as he went in. Okay, just see how it looked like. Oh. Oh. How's it looked, Doctor? Has it uh, been a success? To be honest, it's not looking very well. I don't think the surgery gone very well for him. Ah, I'm gutted, man. I thought I'd really, really look different when I took <laughs> the bandages off. I can't believe I look the same. Just don't know what to do next. I feel like moving away and starting anew, maybe starting a new life somewhere. I feel like maybe moving to Australia or New Zealand. Thank you.